Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. If you are new here, my name is Stella, and today I'm going to be reacting to Arcane Episode 8, Oil and Water. Alright, when we last left off, Echo and Jinx just had a big ol' showdown. We don't know what the results of that are because the episode rudely ended before we got to see if everyone was okay. Um, and if people are not okay, I'm going to be really upset. Um... A lot of stuff is changing. A lot of stuff is happening. I don't really feel like talking too much about it because I'm just so excited to get into this episode. Um, so excited to see Silco brought to justice, hopefully. But before we get into that, if you'd like to see the full length reaction of this episode, you can go check that out on our Patreon. You know, please, if you've got the means, go look over there because it really supports the channel. We could really, you know, we really appreciate it. Um, and along with the full length reaction will be next week's reaction, which is going to be Arcane Episode 9, the finale. So if you want to see me probably ball my eyes out at the very end, head on over there. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy your stay. I'm pretty new here, too. Still figuring things out. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and because I love your comments. I love seeing them. You guys give me so much cool information in there and I've been really having a great time reading them. Um, but without further ado, I know I'm talking like a mile a minute. Deep breath. <sighs> without further ado, let us get started with Arcane Episode 8, Oil and Water. I brought Oreos with me this time because I never have snacks when I'm reacting and I thought I might need the emotional support of a little tiny Oreo. Oh, I was literally just saying last episode that I wanted Mel backstory. Dude. Yes, I'm so ready for this. When I was 10, your grandfather brought me to the aftermath of the Battle of Hildenar. Said we needed the steel. But I knew it was a lie. He wanted me to know death. Your dad sounds like a pretty bad dad, if you ask me. If you want to last in this world, you must learn to be both the fox and the wolf. Import crystal chandeliers. Oh, she got expensive tastes. But the regent will have her own secret entrance. What should we do with her? She won't make trouble for us. Okay. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. Oh my goodness. She's got to be like, She's what? 13 or 14 in this? Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. She's trying her best. But... Delightful. <gasps> oh, girl. We got some big old parental issues going on. I mean, I could have told you that before, but now that I've seen that. Will you be okay? But she, she got a cut on her leg, right? See, whenever something like that happens in these shows, I'm always like, you gotta stop the bleeding, right? But I... Oh, this is going to be a whole big collision now. If the enforcers are there and Silco's henchmen are there. She's not dead. I saw her breathing. She's not dead. It's gone. What? <sighs> She's good at what she does. Are they gonna- yeah, they're just gonna run. There's no point in staying and fighting right now. We get a little intro time. Oh, I can't even like make predictions anymore because there are- there's so much going on. There are so many variables in the show, you know. Got orders to escort you back into the city. <laughs> Sir? <sighs> you alright? That is brutal. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. I would too. Plus, he's never been in the thick of the battle from what I've seen, you know? So, he may not be used to seeing the casualties of... Look at us! We're back to our old ways of sneaking into to topsider houses. I guess Who this is Caitlyn's. Another counselor. Ooh, 
Caitlin! We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. She's from the Undercity. So I see. Could we have a word? What's that supposed to mean? In private. Understand you've broken several laws. She was Ooh, doing what she thought I... was right. She's doing what is right. Like, what are you guys doing? You're a counselor's daughter. Your actions reflect on the entire body. I'm sure our daughter could use some rest after her adventures. They're not adventures. Like, you've got to take her seriously now. She's an adult. Thank you. See, that's great. I'm still not sure how far you're going to get with the council, just because are they really going to want to listen to, you know, someone from the Undercity? Is her severe? You think I can't see that? I can save her. But the process would be the bad thing. So great, after everything she's been through, we're now gonna do one of these last ditch attempts to save her life that completely messes her up. Oh. Yay. Are you prepared Hooray. to lose sure this is gonna go swimmingly. Understand this is for your own sanity. <laughs> I too once had a daughter. He's really fascinating. You know, he's not been on screen very much, but. I want to know more about him. I really do. Your ship. It's his. And Jinx's. Do I smell a little uprising going on? Half-ass play of my ego. Yeah. She's too Gotta smart for that. To you, Finn. Every time I think you can't get dumber, you dig a new... Unless he's got something really good to hold over her. Ego is one thing. Brain's another. Does his tattoo just say kill? Because I'm going to be totally honest. That feels a little uncreative. I feel like you could have found better tattoos. So I know last episode I was confused about what that, that little cross symbol was for. It's the council symbol. I feel like an idiot. It's that, the top side logo, whatever they, they're doing. There she is. Elora, you didn't have to come out to meet me. What? Or no, it's not. Wait a second. Why not visit? At the logo of Zultobus. wherever her mother rules. It's been over a decade, Mel, since you banished me. You said perhaps your sentimentality will be more at home with those soft-spined idealists overseas. Your brother's gone. You're just gonna dump that absolute bombshell on her? He crossed the wrong man. That's a mistake I can't take back. I knew it. War is coming. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. War isn't our first and every recourse. I sponsored Hextech to protect the city, not burn it to the ground. Miss Medarda. Yes? Yes. I don't know why. He looked to me a little bit like Prince Charming from Shrek 2. Oh no, he's in Shrek 1 as well. He looked like Prince Charming, is what I was saying. We'll present our case to the council tonight. And I thought Powder could get obsessed. <laughs> when my parents were still alive, me and Powder used to share a bed like this. Sometimes I'd, I'd get carried away and she'd get scared. I didn't want her to start crying and wake my parents up, so. I pretended to chase my own monsters away. No monster's gonna get you when I'm here. This is so sweet, but it's kind of breaking my heart a little bit. I don't know why, it just hurts. I left her. Uh, that's a lot of it too, wow, okay. Stand. This must be painful. No. Oh my gosh, this poor girl. Just give her, let her have a break, please, for once. Like, enough pain. Why does he have a bloody knife? What have you done? I saved her life. But at what cost, bro? What did he do to her? He sticks out like a fuzzy little sore thumb in this world. This little guy 
You don't belong here, buddy. This is not safe. <laughs> I'm wondering, though, if this might be a little awakening he needs to see that... While he preaches caution, people are dying in the streets. Aww. Ooh. It's a little top. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm gonna lose it. That was such a sweet little moment. See, I'm the kind of person who cries at like puppy videos and stuff, so. Oh, ingenious. Its blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. Well, oh, there he is. There's my boy. Air is denser. I was gonna say, it might seem improperly made to you, but it's made for something different than what you're used to. Are you Counselor Heimerdinger? It's just Heimerdinger now. That looks like more than a sprain. I was gonna say, you were next to a bomb, brother. That's not. I don't know how I'm gonna get down there with my leg busted. And, well, you're holding my ride. You're Mel's mom. Among other things. <sighs> Your leadership is impotent. <laughs> we may not be Noxus, but Piltover isn't as helpless as you. Do you know what the success rate for senior academy inventors is? 3%. You for your advice, Mrs. Medarda. Okay. I have a city Keep trying life. until you get it right, but while you're trying, like, wait. Everything goes to. I want you to succeed here, Jace. To grace the world with Hextech. But if you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parlek. Speaking of slaughtered, I'm not gonna just forget that you sliced the child in half in the first, uh, first minute of the episode, so. The sheriff betrayed us. We need better information. We need to act before anyone else gets killed. Counselors, my daughter has a unique insight into our situation. This is Vi. She was born in the Undercity. Even though we failed her in... Let's see if they actually listen this time. People are starving. Sick. Ravaged by Shimmer. We've done investigations of Silco. They yielded no such level of organization. And who led these investigations? Huh? <laughs> what does this Silco even want from us? He believes the Undercity should be independent. Do you know who made them? No. Well, uh... Her name is Jinx. What happened to you? We've been talking about talking for weeks now. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. Jace, you don't know war. I do. I see where he's coming from, but there's just... You want to negotiate with him? It may there's be the no only good way to avoid fun. options, really. Insane. Did you learn nothing? You can't talk to him. He will never back down. Where are you going? I don't know. Back where I came from? I can fix this. You this is how things are, how they've always been. It wasn't enough. Top side and bottom. You have to keep trying. What about you us? You can't give up, like... If not for yourself, then for, you know, the next generations. Do yourself a favor, Cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me, okay? Ah, she got the hood up, she walking in the rain, she's done. <sighs> Victor! Uh, I think you need that. Maybe not. So what role is he gonna play in all this? That's what, I'm very curious about this, you know? Whose side is he on? Good for him. One might even say, he a runner, he a track star. I hate myself. Victor, I've been working on a private project for a couple of weeks now. Uh, no. Oh, this was the, the chick that was in love with him, wasn't it? Not sure if you want to walk in on him like this with the whole shimmered up leg. I've been working on this for a year now. gotta stop. Victor, 
I was hoping you might take a look at something I've been working She's not gonna like what she finds when she goes in. Oh my goodness, look at him. Inspired by your Girl, same. Like, I love him too, but right now he's... He's not okay. Oh my gosh! Bruh! Sorry, what? What is happening? She didn't even get to tell him that she liked him. I know that's not the saddest part, but that... She just walked in. She was trying to save him. Oh my goodness. She seems so sweet too. No, that, that can't, that can't. You really think the all-powerful thing that you've created is not capable of killing somebody? It absolutely is. Is he putting together a hammer? Is he building weapons? Pay for what he's done. I could have you arrested. So you just wave an arm, have someone dragged off, don't bother to find out what it does to someone being stuffed in a stone box for weeks? You said you were tired of doing nothing. That's the only sensible thing that came out of anyone's mouth tonight. Oh, absolutely. I'm here for this. Help them for mining the fissures. Or she can use it for something a lot cooler. You're the first person Caitlin looked for when we made it to Topside. You're the one she trusted to do something on his supply, and it's only a matter of time before his own people turn on him. Again, I don't want to make any assumptions, because I feel like every time I make up my mind about somebody or something that they've done, things go crazy, things go wrong, and then I have to reevaluate, which I love. I love that this is making me rethink things like every 10 minutes, but also it makes it so hard for me to even say an opinion out loud because I'm like, I may change my mind in the next, you know, the next couple minutes. Ooh. We got our special hammer. Where's Vi with her, her big old fists? So I am curious about Shimmer. I don't know if we've talked about it very much. You know, it's obviously... Well, maybe not magical. I don't know. It seems magical. Uh-oh. But they are fast. I really don't know that guns are gonna do anything in this situation, buddy. Come on, where's Vi? She's got to be around here somewhere, right? That's her. There she goes. So this is the big, this is the big Hextech versus Shimmer showdown that I've been waiting for. I am so hyped for this. Because I've been asking myself this question the whole time. Like, which is, which has got the upper hand? They're both ridiculously powerful. Go for it, girl. Ouch. We just literally saw that man's kneecap get shattered. Ooh. Thor who? Sorry, I only know Jace. Guy's fast. He's not fast. For once, I just wanted to have a good time with the fight. I just wanted to vibe and be like, wow, what a fun fight. I wonder how many of those guys were kids. Oh my goodness. Why do they keep doing this to me? See, I don't believe that Jace is ready for war. I think you can say that easily. He's not ready for this. 
is not ready for the casualties because innocent people will die. You can't have a war without costing innocent people their lives, and I don't think he's ready for that. He's got a heart. Ouch. No. Jinx, please don't kill her. Was that it? Was that it? They're gonna leave me there? Cool. That's great. That's fine. I don't care. Psh. It's not like I'm super duper invested and I will lose my mind if you kill off this character. Gosh, it doesn't even feel like... I, f I feel like the episode's just started. Ah! Okay, let me stretch. Stretch out my emotions. Okay. Jinx. I don't even know what kind of state she's in right now. We didn't see what Singed did to her. Singed did to her. That's hard to say. What Singed did to her. We didn't even get to see the end result. We know he had a bloody knife, so he did some cutting. He did some slicing. He mess some stuff up and physically getting messed up messes you up up here and she's already messed up up here she already hates caitlin she's already vengeful she wants her dead because in jinx's mind caitlin took over her place so i am not i don't want to see this happen i mm. um I'm curious to see if jace is gonna have the guts to go through with his whole war thing i really don't think he thought about it enough I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. Um, and Vi? I, she just wants Silco dead, honestly. Again, like, nobody's perfect here. We all have selfish desires and selfish needs. I'm just scared that we're not going to be able to work together. As a team. I feel like so boring sitting here in my chair being like teamwork when all these characters are going through like absolute hell you know they're just going through the worst stuff imaginable but i just i just want everyone to get along um our next episode is our last the monster you created that is the title of episode nine great that's gonna be really fun I know we're going to have to, Vi and Jinx, we're going to have to have a little showdown. Hopefully they hug it out. But I don't know. One episode is not a lot of time, and I am so scared. I'm, I'm curious as to what, I just, I want more. Um, I, I'm going to have to look up when the next season is coming out, because I want more. Um, Singed is really fascinating. Why, what did he do to Jinx, and why? Why would he do that? Um, he has kind of just interesting reasoning for doing what he did. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. What, what am I, what are my thoughts? Get him out, Stella. Shake your head. Whew. I get so emotionally invested that I just, like, have trouble redirecting. Okay. Heimerdinger is down in Undercity now. That's fascinating to me. I think he's going to learn maybe a lot. He might change his mind. Maybe he'll be able to come up with some ideas. He and Echo are together, right? I think that's a decent team. Um, there are just there's so many moving parts. This is such a complex machine of a TV show. Um, I am concerned. Like, what is Vi and Jace's next move, right? They're taking out the the manufacturing factories for Shimmer, which I think, you know, it is a good idea, right? We can see that Silco is literally holding Shimmer over the residents of the lanes. Like, that's his, that's his piece, his bargaining chip. But, I don't know. I really don't. I want to read... The next episode's description but i don't think i should we got war looming on the horizon um 
And as of right now, I can't tell you who I think would win. Hextech is obviously incredibly powerful, but Silco's got so many people. You know, he's built this little underground empire. Um, I, I don't know. This is, I'm having trouble even coming up with thoughts because there is so much going on and it's almost stressful to think about. Like, I've, I'm overwhelmed just thinking about this. I remember early on, maybe second or third episode, I said something about, oh, so many characters to keep track of. I'm overwhelmed. Guess what? It didn't get any better, right? I may know people's names now. Doesn't mean it's easy to keep track of everybody and their motivations and what they want. And these characters are going back and forth on their choices and they're, they're thinking of different stuff. And I think that's incredible. Um, but boy, oh boy, does it mean that we're in for a wild ride? Um, yeah, just honestly, I'm just trying to form any kind of thoughts. Mm. I don't know. I feel like Silco is ready for war. He may not want it, but if the council forces his hand, he will, I think he's ready. Again, I think he wants to preserve himself. He wants power. He might see this as an opportunity for that power you know, and I don't think he cares how many people die for him to get it. If anything, he may just pump the citizens full of shimmer and have them fight. Um, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping the resolution, again, since we've only got one more episode, I'm hoping the resolution comes a little bit sooner than that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be I had a short intro. This is going to be a short little outro because... I don't know what to think. I can't even say I agree or disagree with anybody. This is so good, you guys. If you're watching this with me for the first time, I mean, watch the whole thing by yourselves, first of all. But if you're watching it for the second time, you've seen it already, how dare you let me go this long without watching it? I should have watched this by now. This is so incredible. Everything else I watch from now on is going to be a disappointment to me because this was so good. Um, yeah, if you want to watch the full-length reaction of this episode, that's up on our Patreon. Again, please check that out. It'll be up there with next week's reaction, um, episode 9, The Monster You Created. I will be sobbing. I'll, I'll lose it. I'm not going to be okay after this. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to check that out, please do. If you enjoyed this episode, great. Please leave a like, leave a comment if you've got anything you want to say to me. Um, and you know, if you're new here, welcome. Love to have you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I think that's all I've got to say. Honestly, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm so excited. So I'll see you all next week in episode nine, The Monster You Created. Peace out. <laughs>